My name is Randy Mattern. I'm from Dayton, Washington. I had had surgery in another hospital, a larger one. I think I'd been in, out of surgery for a day or two and they found I had an infection. When I got out, I went to wound care and it was really well set up, but I was having issues. I mean, every day I was running up there three, four, sometimes five times to get things redone. This kept going on month after month and it was almost like I was a nuisance. It was like they really got tired of me being there. Not too long after that, we ended up deciding to move to a date in Washington. So when I got here, I ended up finding out there was a wound care here in Dayton. A lot smaller hospital, smaller wound care. So I was kind of skeptical. You know, when we first got here, I found a difference in the attitude. They wanted to know why things were happening and weren't happening. I was still kind of skeptical at first, but after a couple of weeks being here, I started to think maybe there was a chance this was actually going to get healed. With their talking to me, I decided to get have the surgery. The wound had been open and draining. He'd seen multiple providers, been treated by multiple uh, wound care facilities. He had um, been living with a wound for many years, like five years. And then uh, came to see us, still had the open wound, kind of wasn't sure if there was anything that could be done at that point. Um, we kept an eye on him for about 30 days. We implemented um, mainly just like advanced dressings for drainage and did a couple of wound cultures, checking for infection and uh, treated with oral antibiotics a couple of times. We thought there has to be more, more to this, more of an underlying problem. We sent him to general surgery to have that wound evaluated. And with the surgery and with the care that they gave me, that was the first time I started to see that the wound was actually starting to close. You get kind of skeptical, like, you know, people say it's gonna close, but it doesn't but I actually was seeing progress daily. I mean, it was it was getting to the point where I thought, no, this actually might work. And it's, you know, I can't thank them enough for the research and the care that they gave. They never seemed to ever give up. He was really affected by living with this chronic wound that made him very insecure. He had trouble going out, shopping, and living his daily life. It definitely was impacting his daily life. So I think that we really were able to help him in that aspect, not just you know physically healing the wound, uh, but also helping him to cope with the wound while we were healing it. You know, I still would have been going through this, I think, if it wouldn't have been for the care they gave. 